Hi guys, it is Lily here from Crafting Fruit Mental Health and today we are doing a sketchbook tour! I've been waiting to do this one for so long. Um, you might be wondering, Lily, where have you been? Yes, I haven't been uploading for two weeks now. I was ill with the flu, it has been hell and I am so glad to be a bit better. It is still in my throat, so if I sound a bit croaky, I'm really sorry. It is still slightly there. It is wearing itself out on me, but I will be hopefully back to normal now. So this one is gonna be quite a long one. It's quite a thick sketchbook, as you can see. Um, so grab a hot chocolate or something and Let's just go through it. So I did this design because I did a galaxy design on the last one. I will link the last one down below. So I wanted to redo it because that one didn't work out as well. So I think this one did work out quite nicely. I do like the design on it. So it is a Windsor and Newton sketchbook. And this is what I use to basically use for my sketchbooks. I have three of these now. So I've had, this is the second one. I'm currently working on my third. I started it back in July, the 5th July in 2017 and I ended it in uh, 19th of February 2018 so that is seven months so that's done me quite well. Um, so what I do with my sketchbooks is I will use another piece of paper or sketchbook and stick it into this side so it's sort of like a nice format because it does bleed through. So I used different mediums in this sketchbook and this sketchbook is an A5 for anyone's interest that I got from the range. It costs about £5 so it does me really well and Windsor & Newton is quite a good company. So it's heavyweight paper for pencil, ink and watercolour. I would say watercolour isn't the best on this paper but you know it's, it's okay for like practice. Let's get into the sketches. So this one, the first one that I did on the 5th of July here is a picture that I did when I was with my boyfriend. Oh, I wish it was like that now. We just had loads of snow and everything. Um, I have a video on this, so I will probably run out of space on my card. So if you wanna check out any other videos, they will be linked down below. And um, that was quite a funny video. So I definitely recommend that I really enjoyed doing that but it was really nice just to kind of draw from what I could see and uh, well, because I live in England it's not always the most handy of times but then I just practiced doing some sort of cartoon-ish drawings I was going to do a new logo for this one so I was trying to practice for that yeah so practice really this sketchbook I like to have a lot of finished pieces in it so it's nice to flick through but at the same time it is a practice so I don't really don't really mind. This one I really liked and a lot of people did like it actually. I wanted to do sort of more sort of movement drawings and even from this you can tell where I've improved by the end of it. Then I did this which I quite like again still practicing my sort of cartoony style. I have two whippets they're there Whippets are hard to draw. I'm just, they're weird animals. I love them to pieces, but they are really complicated to draw. So that was a bit of practice putting them in a cartoony style. I remember I did this when I was at a pub. So yeah, again, I wish, I wish it was the time of year to have pims. So yep, drew some sort of chibi like drinks and stuff. Then I did this cat girl. I can already see where I've improved but it was just a bit of practice really. The skin, I find skin with watercolour actually really tricky so I'm trying to learn on that. Then it was not the season for witches but I just fancy drawing which I really like witchy sort of drawings. Then I did a sort of lost in the forest. A lot of these are like sort of quick sketches, well quick sort of shove some paint onto the thingy so it's not like perfect but it was just kind of a bit of fun really and just to get a little bit of practice in. 
but it's not a sort of dedicated thing. Then we're back on to practice doing hands and uh, doing cartoony eyes. This is now in September, so I haven't done a lot of art over the summer at this point, where I feel like I'm going to fill up my next sketchbook a lot more quicker because I'm trying to do um, art every day uh, on Instagram. It won't be every day, but it, I'm trying to do it like weekly. Um, so if you want to check that out, I have an art Instagram account that will be linked down below as well. I was watching Death Note, I think I was watching when I did this one, I was either watching the animated one, which is obviously the best one, or the new live action one, which was, it's worth a watch, but it's not great. L is amazing in it actually, I think L was great, it's just the lines he got given were a bit shite. So yeah, I drew L. And then I was, I remember I was staying at my sister's at this point and I was watching The Crown, which is amazing. I can't wait for season three. So I did sort of a cartoony style of the Queen and Prince Philip when they were very young. So you can tell it's getting more autumny now. Love autumn. Um, so just a pencil sketch. I'm not very good at pencil sketching but it's probably because I don't really have great pencils. Can I blame it on the medium? Maybe. But yeah, just a little doodle of a woman with what well, I would say hot chocolate because I don't drink hot drinks. Then we've got Jon Snow. It must have been when Game of Thrones was back, which please come back quickly because I miss it. I know it won't. I drew this and then it's not the greatest obviously you can tell it's not the greatest i'm still sort of getting down on my portions of the face and you can see here it's just it's good dish but i can see where i need to improve anyway so i drew this and <laughs> my mate was like oh that looks like my mate so then some random now is like oh yeah there's that picture and I've met them and I'm like, hi, I'm, I'm the one that drew the Jon Snow picture that looks like you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> then on this one, I um, this was really just a quick sketch, donated blood. And then I just, I always, I think it's Blade, they have it where they steal the donations. And to be fair, I would happily, like if there were vampires in the world, I'd donate blood so they don't have to kill anyone, you know? That's, that's the concept. Then I've got some muffalos. Um, I've actually got a film painting of muffalos. Link that down below. God, I feel like I'm advertising myself. I'll link that down below, I've got all my links. But yeah, please, please do, please support me. Please subscribe. Uh, so we've got some sketchy roos of some muffalos. That's from RimWorld. Uh, a game on Steam. I don't know if it's on any other platforms. But it's really good. I actually really enjoyed that game. I've just got a sketch of uh, a logo I tried to do. Actually, I looked back at it because I did it on, on the computer, which I don't normally do digital drawings. And it actually didn't look too bad. Then I've got a uh, full, full, there. Get my, get my voice back. Have a slurp drink. Then I've got Full Flat, which is another game. This was my character, I think. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Anyway, I drew the characters. It was really like a rough sketch. Just to kind of like remember it. And we had these boxes and... <sighs> My boyfriend and my mate were so determined to carry them all the way to the end where they weren't meant for that. But as soon as you picked them up, it came up with this like dialogue y thing. And it was like, climbing is as easy as doing yoga. And it would go on. So me and my mate's brother were just like, oh, please drop the boxes. Like, we're getting it stuck in our head. And for like, the next couple of days, it was just like stuck going around and around in my head. And then at the end, they like let go. I actually have a vlog of this, so you know what I'm gonna say. I 
link it down below. Anyway, it was, it was really funny, you know, there's a really good vlog as well. So, check that out. Then, I drew uh, Deku from My Hero Academia. That's quite a bit of My Hero Academia in this, to be fair, because I love My Hero Academia, and it is the greatest anime of all time. Maybe. I don't know. I really enjoy it. I love it. And I think most people do. It's won a lot of awards. Then, this, I drew this on a plane. It's not great, but I saw a picture and I want to do like unusual things so I can kind of get that practice in and yeah um saw that in a magazine then this was from a Skillshare and that was really really good Skillshare um I do Skillshare and to like learn how to improve and I'll link it down below as well Skillshare oh my god I'm gonna have so much work on links this week thank you past Lily so then this is the practice from it as well and I really like how it sort of looks and do my own sort of style with it still working out on um, proportions and everything and I've been working on pencil sketch drawings this week you can see that on my art Instagram and even in a week you can see how much improvement there is uh, like from the beginning of the week to the end of the week then I did this, oh, I wish I was back there, in Gran Canaria, um, I was at the pool and I was doing sort of different, just sketches of cats to kind of get their facial features in and I don't know if I did this away, I think I might have done. Anyway, so I did that as well, it's alright, it's a bit stiff, but hey hey, you know, all improvements, the sketchbook is an improvement. Then I did this one. I think I was experimenting with bigger eyes. Do I like it? Nah. I don't know. I don't know. Barkers aren't the best. Oh no, that was on a different. Narkers aren't the best on this one paper either. That's the tiger paper, so it's very kind of cheap paper. This one is the free marker challenge. I drew it out and then I uh, picked the markers and I actually got a really good colour range. So that's really cool. As you can guess it, there's a video on this as well. Therefore, it will be linked down below. Then you can see how much it bleeds through. That's why I normally stick something there. Then I was practicing with my inks because as you can see on the day, it is just before Inktober and I did Inktober this year. I completed all 31 days. I was just practicing out with my new inks and some old inks. They were the Windsor and Newton inks. So I've got them right here. I've got them in a little bag so i've got the black one there um they are india ink i don't know if they're all india ink it doesn't say on that one but yeah so i've got these little links um my favorite is the gold give that a little bit of a shaky shake shake and um these three actually came in a set so i bought the other two the green and the blue and um yeah really good really nice because it gives that really nice pop of gold so then we move on to inktober i actually have a full flick through of my inktober so i'm not going to go through this i will link it up in the cards so check that out and you can have a look through the rest of this so that's like That is this much of the sketchbook so quite a bit of it is dedicated to inktober so check that out in the cards above so then i had got given a really good idea they said to draw a guy slowly growing the hair because it was now november so it's november and um i tried doing it i did it with uh markers i don't know how i'm getting on with markers at the moment i'm finding them quite like they don't blend well but it's probably because the paper i have um so i tried doing it and then it like i did it later on in the month and it just kind of worked okay i need to practice more on my male drawings and also you can see here this is where the book starts to break a bit no! then i got bored i don't know why it's stuck here maybe because of times i don't know i don't know i get a bit funny about them it being in order. I got, I asked my mate Claire what I should draw and she said a bunny and a unicorn. 
I was, you know when you're sort of in a mood to like draw something simple and not too hard but you still want to draw something, it was that sort of mood. I kind of turned it into an alpaca corn thing, I don't know, but I didn't, I, horses are hard, okay? Horses are hard and I wasn't in a mood to stretch my limits. I don't know why I drew the bell. I think I was having a bit of art block, if you believe in that or not. I just couldn't really think of ideas and I was like probably really busy at the time. So I was trying to keep on top of other things. Um, so I just drew her in pencil um, and inked it and then um, did different expressions with it as well. I don't know. Then I did another one trying to practice out styles and stuff like that and like poses, it's all right, could do better. Then back to the pencil drawings, my sketchbook is breaking, I still got loads left. Yeah, pencil sketch drawings, I like these, I like the look of these, um, I think they look really good. So yep, happy with that. I was in up north seeing my beautiful lovely boyfriend at this point. We had gone for a lovely walk and there were some ducks and geese so I was like I'm gonna take a photo and draw it later and actually I really like the way they've turned out so yay. Then this is me and my mate Claire, love Claire, um, I've got a plant named after her. You know you're a good friend when you got a plant named after you. I, yeah. Is that a good thing? I don't I think. I feel like it is. Anyway, so Animal Crossing just come out. Um, I was really excited about the mobile game. And I did not keep to it as soon as they were like, no, you can only have certain villagers to the style you pick. And I'm like, but the cute villagers are like, not all the ones I want. I want this one because they were in my town. So I was a bit like, nah, nah, mate. Then doing some more practice of different dogs, especially a whippet because whippets are hard. Yeah, again, it is autumn. Well, I do like this piece, so it was kind of like I love getting the costa. So doing that sort of costa style drawing. Like the hands in this, I feel like I've improved here when you look at these hands paired to like hands here. Clearly trying to hide hands. Um, yeah, like here or here so yep I feel like that's cool did it with markers again can't really I need to practice more with markers then again with Animal Crossing so I did Tangy who is my favorite Animal Crossing character I had her in Wild World I love her she lived on a little island I had she was the greatest oh, Tangy girl why did you never come to my new leaf town then I drew my boyfriend who's never ever played Animal Crossing in his life with an axe. That's what I do. So for Christmas, you can see that it's December at this point, late December, later than this point. Um, I made some Shrinky Dinks little key rings. So I made a D&D dice, a, a cactus for my mate Claire, and um, I made a little sewing machine for my sister, a hockey thing for my brother-in-law, Starbucks mug thing uh, for my cousin, and then a PlayStation controller for my brother, a whip it for my mum, lorry for my dad, a teacup for my aunt, a paint palette for me, a lipstick for my cousin, and a mixtape for my other cousin. I was watching Jumanji with my boyfriend at this point, so obviously I drew elephants and rhinos and stuff because that's in Jumanji. It was the original Jumanji. Is it the original? The one with uh, Robin Williams in. And that was actually quite freaky. Like, <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay, freaky. Then I was watching My Hero Academia again and I did Shouto something something. I should really remember his last name. Do you know how many names are hard? Like, no offense if you got one, but it's really hard to remember. Anyway, I did that in a chibi style. I think I sort of half copied it from Pinterest, so don't think that is at all original. Um, it's just a sketch in there because 
I was probably just wanting to draw something while watching it and I love him even though I don't remember his name then I drew a sheep with a sombrero and a chicken with a jumper I like the chicken with the jumper but I can't remember why he's wearing a sombrero Uh, I'm 22 and I still fangirl and ship people. I did, I can't remember Gravity Girl's name either. It was so professional. It's because I can't read, so that's the problem. Like I like look at names, I'm like, you yeah, what? Anyway, I drew Deku, Deku and her and I love her too. And I ship them. Can people stop shipping? Deco with, uh, Deku with other people, please, please, just stop it, no, I need to stop my, I just need to stop, then I did another cartoony style, I did the pink girl, that's what people are actually call her, then we were into New Year's, I wanted to do like a little list things, I wasn't staying at my aunt's house, so that's why we've got Kipper, <clears throat> and that's why I needed a pack, Yep, that, that all makes sense now. So, yep, I just wanted to do sort of. I know um, Fran's nerd. Is it Fran nerd? She's another art YouTuber. Anyway, her name's Fran. You can tell my throat's going, so I'm so sorry, guys. She does um, like listy things where she draws as well, and I just thought I'd do my own sort of style with it. Obviously, she's ten times, million times better than I am. So then I did another sort of pencily drawing, more practice of women, and another one, not as good. This was a massive fail. I kind of wanted to do a thing of like love where it passes through. So this person has like depression and sometimes just being simply with someone, whether it be a friend, a family member, your partner, it just kind of, helps sort of de-ice it I'm not saying that for all people with depression like everybody is different but I just kind of want to resemble that it failed miserably I think the hair well the hair obviously went wrong I've had that out with um, tissue paper and done it with the gold ink Ta -da. I think it was that gold ink if it wasn't it would have been fine text Ta -da. But I'm pretty sure it was the gold inks. Then I did a little sort of cartoony drawing. I'm not a biggest fan of it. I was just trying to practice out sort of a cutesy style. But I don't, I don't know. Sorry about my goddamn throat. Went on Pinterest. Pinterest is where I get all my sort of art e inspiration from. And I'd it's probably other pencil sketch drawings or um, drawings I saw and I just kind of copied them for practice so this was just practice then that was a skill set class from a lady called Yasmina she did a how to draw anything and she has cutesy sort of style in it and there's a little bird and little bees and it's really cute and then I drew this lovely giraffe. That was with the fine text, which just showed you the pearl color ones. So then, because it's the beginning of 2018, I've written out what I want to get better at this year. So I want to improve on hands and feet, uh, create a cute cartoon style, um, finish most of my college work, get better at clothes, and work on my semi-realism and yeah I think like it is improving but it's I think it's more the fact of putting people in making the picture more real as well then I drew my cactus which I love with my life I love my cactus so much I love him yes that was watercolour and I just love him. He is 
my favourite drawing probably in the whole of the book and a lot of people liked him as well and I really liked him. Did I do a bit of stereotyping with the sombrero? Maybe, but I like him. And I like this piece as well actually, I really do. So I wore coloured this piece and I got given some beautiful, beautiful flowers by my boyfriend Ashton. I decided to wore colour them and yeah, there's not much more to say on it. I just really, really like it and I really like how this has all turned out. Then I'm doing a commission for my Nana. She wants a black and white picture um, with Lady in Red. So this was just some practice. Um, and a way to discuss how to have everything. Then I drew Dan Howe for my mate. I'm not even going to say who. Not not Claire. Not Claire. Like Claire. Claire might like Dan Howe. I don't know. Dan Howe is actually from the same town I live in, and he is. Um, he went to the same school. Not the same school I did because I went to an all girls school and he went to an all boys school. But it's like the partnering school, so. If I was five years older, we would have had prom together. Thanks, Mum and Dad. Could have made me be with Dan Howe. I have a boyfriend, by the way. Like, and I love him very much, but there was... My teen years were like, what if Dan Howe comes back home and he finds me? Yeah, I'm going to shut up now. And then I drew this bunny. Uh, you might have seen it in my re one of my recent videos. I think it would only have been a couple of videos ago now because I've not been well. And that is the free wish haul. So um, guess what? It will be linked down below. And yeah, that's the sort of concept art behind it. But there is a full on piece for it. Then more practice for, you can see that like, woo, it doesn't know what to do. Did that on my birthday girl yeah so we did that sort of concept art Shana sort of work more on black and white and work on that then I did some practices of sort of working with textures and drawings they are far too dark but that's practice at the end of the day you know you gotta get there um, I do like this and we will be putting that into the piece so that's really awesome we're on the last pages now, like literally this is the last bit. Oh my god, that is so broken, that spine. Anyway, got to hold this down. It's the year of the dog this year for the Chinese New Year, so I drew that for Chinese New Year. Didn't really work out how I wanted it to, but you know what, it's not bad. Concept art for a tattoo idea, some little octopuses why did I forget that I really love octopuses I don't actually have any other drawings in here of octopuses but I've just crocheted one yeah I just really like them but yeah so good some octopuses there and that is it for the sketchbook sketchbook 2 it's a bit of a boring name I hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching this long video and putting up with my god awful ill voice I will be back next week, hopefully more better than I am now. <laughs> uh, I upload every Friday and subscribe if you haven't already, that would be fabulous. Big award to you if you've gotten to the end of the video. If you did, comment below saying octopus poop. And I will know you got to the end and I will love you forever and you will be the greatest person of all time. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'll link everything down below. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll probably be back in a year with my next one. Maybe not a year, probably like six months. I will see you guys next week as long as my body lets me. <laughs> Have a brilliant week and I hope you're all doing well. Love ya!